Hi everyone, I believe that we all doing well. My name is Sister Blanche and welcome to our Friday Bible study. And uh, we can't start anything without thanking God for everything so far. We glorify your name, we lift you high in the most high God. We thank you for everything. We thank you for the life that you're giving to us. And we thank you for making us ready and preparing our hearts so we can listen to you today. Oh God, I bless each and every one who will come to this Friday Bible study. Oh God, and I pray that you will teach us something new and you will also bless us with whatever that we're going to hear today and lord we cover everything with your blood and in the name of jesus we lift your heart we glorify in the name of jesus we pray amen that was a quick prayer that's only because i had my private prayer before coming i don't come without prayer so the story that we we're going to read today is in the book of luke and the reason why the lord took me to this fast is because he wanted to teach me something to do with the will of god doing something with the will of God because there's a difference between you doing just something for God on your own and someone who's doing it with the will of God in the time of God so I believe the Lord wanted me to always depend on him to always do his will even though I want to do it for him to make sure that he, is agree he agreed with whatever I was doing we're going to look at the story of Martha and Mary so if you can grab our Bible and open our Bible in the book of Luke 10 we start from 38 to 41. I don't know if I should read, but it looks like I have to. <laughs> yes, uh, we read in the name of Jesus. The Bible says at 38, as Jesus, Jesus and his disciple went on the way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him in, in her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat down at the feet of the Lord and listening to his teaching. Listening to his teaching. Where am I? And for he said, Martha was upset over all the work she had to do. So she came and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do everything all by myself? Tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered, you need to listen to this properly. The Lord answered, the Lord says, Martha, Martha, you are worried, worried and troubled over so many things. But just one is needed. But just one is needed. We carry on the bible says mary has true jesus said mary has chosen the right things and it would not be taken away from her the day i was reading this god told me something he said in this world we have martyrs and mary we have christians who are martha and we have christians who are mary but the christian that god wants to wants to see is the ma mary why mary because you know most of the time we get ourselves busy working for God, doing something for God. We think that's what God wants. We think that's why it's pleasing God. But at the end of the day, that may not be what God wants you to do. That may not, may not be the things that God wants you to do at that moment. We, know, we, see, we see in the story of Martha, how she was busy in the kitchen cooking for Jesus, how she was busy in the, the, the kitchen doing something for the Lord. What she was doing was not bad. She wasn't insulting anyone. She was not sinning. She was preparing something for the Lord. She was doing, but at that time, that was not what the Lord wanted. All the Lord wanted was for her to sit on, be sit on his lap so she could listen. Because what Ma Mary was doing, that was the perfect things that Jesus wanted her to do. Because at that time, Jesus wanted that to be teached. Because you know what you get from the Lord will not be taken away from you. As you get what the Lord wants you to get, that's how you can go do all the things. We have people who seek to do what they want before seeking God, you know, sitting on Jesus' lap, sitting on the lap of, lap of the Lord may mean somebody who's learning, somebody who's going through the, 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 procedure, the process of being who God wants them to be. So we have people who, who would not care about working with God. They will run to serve. They will run to do, you know, the a perfect example in the Bible, the, of David. David has to kill in the secret place. David has to kill when someone, no one saw him. So that one day if you will come out to fight, you will be able to kill. We have people who want to kill. You want to kill out. You never ever experience killing inside. You never ever have the experience of killing in the secret place and you expect to be a winner outside. You know most of us we do, we do things for God. 
and we don't ask for God's will. Martha was doing things. She was doing things that was not bad. But Jesus said, this is not what I want at this moment. All I want is for you to be close to me. You know, when Jesus is talking about someone sitting on his feet, he talks about relationships. You can only sit on someone's lap if you are connected with them, if you have a relationship with them. For most of us, what God wants, what Jesus wants for us, is to have a relationship with Him. You know, if you have a deep relationship with God, you can go out there and everything you would do will be perfect. Why? Because the relationship is deep. The power of the secret place. The power of the secret place. There's a power in the secret place. There's a power in the secret place. And that secret place is all about the relationship you and I have with God. From, from some of all of us, for all of us, what Jesus wants the most is for us to have a relationship. Let me tell you, you wouldn't go to heaven because you go to church. You wouldn't go to heaven because you preach. You wouldn't go to heaven because you're a Christian. No. You make heaven because you have a relationship with God. You know, why am I saying this? It's because someone who has a relationship with God, you will know God and God will know them. You know, when you have a relationship, what does that come with? It comes with love. And someone who loves God will be able to avoid sin, to avoid everything that God doesn't like and live for God. You can only live for God and give all your life for God when you have a relationship with God. Because relationship with God is equal to love. And when you love God, you can do anything for Him. So this verse is teaching us about the things that we do. It has so, you know, just this verse, it can talk about so many things. He can talk about relationship, which which is talking about sitting on the lap of God. He can talk about the will of God, which is talking about you doing something for God, but it's not what he wants for you to do. What he wants for you to do is to come and sit on his lap because you are a baby who wants to learn. You know what Ma Mary was able to take? Martha missed it. Why? Because she was busy doing all the things. And you don't have to be Martha. The Lord wants us to be merry. We live in the world that everyone wants to serve God. Everyone wants to stand. Everyone wants to do this, wants to do that. But when what God wants first is to listen and to have a deep relationship. You know, we miss the step of having a relationship and listening. We jump to the next step of serving, of standing. At the end of the day, we don't have anything. To, we don't have anything to give. So we end up, we end up giving what? we want to give so today i pray that somebody will go seek god for his will in anything we do somebody will go seek god for his will and direction somebody will go back to the lord's feet to learn because we still have to learn there are things we need to learn you can read the bible from the book of genesis to the book of revelation again and again and let me tell you the next day you will read you will always learn something why because the holy spirit teaches us everything every day it doesn't matter how many times you read the same verse the next time you read it will speak again because it knows how to take that one verse translate it to billions way that's why we love him. So I hope that this message will bless somebody. For it, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for being here, for subscribing, for watching, for sharing, for commenting, for liking, for everything. And make sure you look after your relationship with God. Make sure you look after yourself. Make sure you look after your salvation and you walk according to the Bible. You live a holiness life because the Bible says, "Without holiness, no one can say, see the Lord." The Lord has called me to stand for the second coming of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what I preach, different things, but I still stand for the second coming of Jesus Christ and preparing soul to see the Lord, to see the Lord. And I, as I always say, the Lord is coming soon to take His holy people because He's a holy God. Please, please be prepared. May the Lord bless us all in the name of Jesus. I love you.